Hi everyone, so I thought it would be good to show you this track I'm working on and I'm just going to go through it track by track but first of all I'll just show you a clip of what it sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so the first track is actually an Avenger track and um, it's an Avenger sequence and I've used my own chords and I've slightly customized it too, um, so I'll just show you what that sounds like on its own. So you can see there's a bit of a melody line on top and um, if I can just mute the chords I'll show you what that sounds like. Okay so it's quite subtle in the track but it does add um, some atmosphere so uh, just so you know as well I used something called fixed in the dynamics section here so that just makes everything sound really leveled and like polished otherwise the velocities are kind of all over the place and so I recommend using fixed and all you need to do is double click next to where it says dynamics and then it'll automatically make everything a fixed velocity so the next track is another Avenger sound and it's called Sand and Sky and I really really like this sound and this is how it sounds. So it's really atmospheric, um, I love the delay and reverb um, and yeah I just made a little melody and um, that adds a bit of uh, detail to that sequence. Oh, I just need to unmute the chord, so. Sorry for the pops and crackles, it seems that when I do the screen recording um, I'm using a Talostream audio driver to enable me to record the sound and it does sometimes give me a few pops and crackles. Uh, the next track are these La sounds and this is from the M Voice plugin and I've actually got a vocal melody um, but I'm not quite sure about it yet or how it sounds and so I'll just show you these little notes that I took from that. So that's just a snippet of the vocal with a lot of reverb on. I'm using Valhalla, Valhalla Vintage Verb and um, I've also made the lower track an octave lower um, and that makes it sound a lot deeper. As you can see there I just go to transpose and then minus 12 and it makes it sound like this. Okay, the next track is Rock Guitar Mutes and so this is a contact plugin. Uh, it's the Session Guitarist Electric Mint and I've got the muted melody section on. Um, so that means like the muted notes. 
and uh, I just made a little melody for that and it sounds like that. I also added a kickstart plugin to give it some side chain, otherwise it sounds like this. It's very subtle, it just adds a bit of bounce. And you can really tell when the beat is playing back with it. Uh, the next track is a reverse clap, and so this just adds a little bit of detail into the sequence. Um, it's actually just one of the lo Logic uh, drum sounds, and I exported it as a loop and then reversed it, and it sounds like this. It actually just sounds like white noise, but it does add quite a bit to the track. So I really like that effect. And then we've also got this backstop plug sound, which is a nexus sound and um, the melody goes like this. So that just echoes the first melody line that's in the Avenger sequence track. And then the next one is an effect called downlifter. Which is another Nexus sound. And I like this, it kind of reminds me of Ali's DJ. Uh, the next track is FX Noise City, which is a reverse cymbal sound kind of and I just bounced that one as well and then moved it to the right place and then cut it uh, where I wanted it to end and it sounds like this. Okay the next track is the saw lead uh, which has got a bit of an Alice DJ vibe. It's a nexus sound and I really like how sharp it is. It really punches through in the mix and it sounds like this. It's got that cool pluckiness as well. Um, I think what I did for that one was I, when I'd finished recording the melody, I um, selected all of the notes like Command and A, and then if you go to Edit and Trim, and then Note End to Selected Notes for Legato, it pushes all of the notes up next to each other, and then you can just trim them back by dragging them. Let me see if I can show you. So, like that. And then, yeah, you just go to one of the handles with them all selected and you drag to the left. And then it will make them a bit shorter. I think I've got too many notes selected there. But, but basically, if you mess around with it, um, you get that kind of effect and it sounds really cool. The next track is the picked guitar. So this is another contact instruments track. Uh, the picked acoustic one and um, it's it's very real sounding I, I really like it. it sounds like this uh, I've got a bit crusher as well on there without the bit crusher it would sound like this I just decided to add a bit crusher it adds a bit of texture The next is um, a trio of strings, and I didn't actually show you this section, but it's just like a bridge up into the chorus. And um, we've got a string sound in the legato mode in BBC Symphonic Orchestra. And then under that, we've got the same sound, but an octave lower. And then under that, we've got a double bass legato as well. That adds some drama. And accompanying that, we've got some other tracks. 
I'll just play this section as well. And then the last track in the chorus section is a string loop, which I made with BBC Symphonic Orchestra. Um, I'll show you how that sounds. Um, and that just adds a little bit of orchestralness to the track. I think orchestralness is not really a word, but never mind. Um, so this is how it sounds all together again. Okay, I'll just show you the vocal loop as well. It's kind of like Kylie Minogue-ish. Uh, basically, when you type in a melody or um, record a melody into Mvoice, all of the notes sound like a la until you type in a word. So that, that's why it's like la la la. Um, but have a listen and see what you think. Oh, I just need to press uh, the mute off. Okay, so that was just the M voice track. Uh, and then we've got a vocal transformer on as well on one of the tracks to make it lower or to make the formant lower. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Otherwise it sounds like this. Just needed to fill in the gap, so I've got a bit of a stuttery vocal there. I just copied and pasted it. Um, yeah, and then I've got this other track underneath. It's just the same thing, but minus 12, and then both of them together, it sounds like this. I've also got a spreader on there to make it more stereo wide. And I've got an exciter on there to give it a bit of definition. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'd already EQ'd it before where just where the peaks were raising up, I put an EQ to um, invert them down. I'll do another video about that another time and then I'll show you how I do the EQ. Okay, so um, I hope you found it useful and I'll just play that back one more time and let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you like this melody. Um, or whether I should think of something else. <laughs> All right, see you next time then. Bye.